Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can give it this organic texture in Blender. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a plane and go to geometry nodes. Click on new, add a subdivision surface node and let's set it to 3 for now. Now we need a set position node and put that here. Add a Voronoi texture and let's plug the distance into the offset. Here, set it from F1 to distance to edge. Add a noise texture and let's set the scale to 1. Plug the factor into the vector. Add a vector rotate node and let's put that here. Duplicate it and put it here. Set this one to the x axis and this one to the y axis. Now set the angle here to 45 and here to minus 35. Press N and select the group output. Go to group. Under outputs click on the plus sign and let's select color here. Here type in color. And let's also do that here under the output properties. Plug the vector here into the color, duplicate the Voronoi texture and set it back to F1. Set the scale to 10, add a set shade smooth node and let's put that here. Now add a set material node and go to the material properties, click on new and select the material here. Now let's save. Let's also set the scale here to 1. I'm going to set the level here to 10. You can of course set it lower if you want to. Save again and go to shading. Go to rendered view and make sure you're using cyclos. I'm going to put the link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. Go to the render properties. Go to color management. Set the hue transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. If you want this to be an animation, I recommend that you set the hue transform to standard and the look to none. Once you are compiling the images, set the hue transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Let's set the subsurface to 0.1. Set the roughness to 0. Add a noise texture. And let's put that here. Plug the factor into the base color. Let's also plug it into the displacement and into the normal. Here type in displacement. And let's go here to displacement and set it to displacement and bump. Add an attribute node. And here let's type in color. And let's plug the color into the vector. Add a displacement node. Put it here and bring it down here. Set the height to 0 0.01 and the middle level to 0 0.1. Instead of the normal, I'm going to use the scale. Press R, X and 180. If you want to have these previews here, you can get the node preview add-in for the link in the description. Add a mask wave texture. Set the scale to 2.5 and the detail to 15. Save again and go back to layout mode. I'm going to position my view around here, hit shift A and add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view. This is the location if you want to use it. Hit shift A and add an empty plane axis. Enable snapping and let's set it to face project. Press G and I'm going to put it here. Select the camera and go to the object data properties. Enable depth of field and select the empty. Let's go to rendered view. Set the blades to 16. Disable this again and set it back to increment. Now go to compositing. Enable use nodes and here enable denoising data and add a denoise node set to accurate. In the render properties, I'm going to set the max samples to 384. Let's save it. Again, and if you want you can go to performance here and enable persistent data. You can also go to render and enable lock interface. In the output properties I'm going to set it to JPEG and set the quality to 100%. Save again and press F12. If you liked this tutorial then you're probably also going to like the render on screen now. I'll see you next time.